Now, it's funny, it's flamboyant, and most of all, it's fabulous. Now, I'm not talking about me. Drag has a long history in London, and this weekend, stars from RuPaul's Drag Race gather to strut their stuff and to meet their fans. And Wendy Hurrell has more. Hello from the pink carpet laid out for DragCon at the Excel Centre. Brightening up the grey, dreary months are the sequins, the wigs, the flamboyant artistry of the finest drag queens. And this is an important convention too because it's where people can feel accepted and be themselves. Having 150 queens from the phenomenally successful TV show RuPaul's Drag Race in the same room, well, there's some energy. And we were left to marvel at a parade of elaborate costumes and makeup that adorn these performers, which allows for full expression of their extravagant personas. Some fans got quite emotional. I think, I don't know, ever since I found her, it's just kind of like, I have solidarity with the weird girls, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that's sort of why I got so emotional there. It's just such an like, escape from reality, having so much fun watching them perform. Like, they're just amazing, I just love it. The Queen's no less excited to be here to meet them. This time of year is so tough to keep motivated, keep smiling, keep going. How do you do it, darling? I think the biggest thing to do is paint on a smile, put your favourite colour on and just have a gorgeous time. The thing is, January's tough on everyone, especially at the moment we're in a cost of living crisis, Christmas is over, it's bleak. And so I think it's so important to, to do something that makes you feel fabulous and to give you those endorphins that make you feel happy and positive and if you smile the world smiles with you. In a wider context this kind of gathering is important for the LGBT community. This is a safe place, you know, this is a place where your tribe can come together and be whoever you want to be. And, and Rue's always said, you know, that the thing about drag is that becoming the image of your imagination is one of the most powerful things you can do. And, and that's what drag, DragCon is all about. It's just a really good way to like, like build community with other people, especially if you don't really know anybody who's queer in your hometown. It's just really important so that it's like accessible for uh, everybody, just to show that like this is something that should be celebrated. It celebrates women, it doesn't like make fun of us and the obviously the majority are gay men who do it but like now with Victoria Scone and stuff it's a lot more like cisgendered queens who are getting into the limelight and I just really love that. RuPaul's on the decks now, setting the tone for the whole weekend. Over to taste to sell it baby. We got queens walking, we got me and queens, we got me, we got you, we got us, we got you lot, so come over here babies, let's have a gorgeous time. Love you, bye, I gotta go, see ya.